When you see Grand Reserve on a bottle, you know that beer's gonna be a little bit special. It's beer o'clock, and from Scormont Abbey, we have a bottle of Chimay Blue, Grand Reserve, 2018 Whiskey Edition, rocking in at 10.5% ABV. Now, I'd like to thank um, a subscriber from San Jose in the USA called Robert Fall. He's been um, a subscriber for a while, and um, he sent me a super chat um, last weekend and, and basically told me on the super chat to review a great beer and um, get or buy myself a great beer. So I literally said to him, what beer would you like to see? And he went the Chimay Grand Reserve. So Robert Fall, I don't disappoint. Here is a bottle of the Chimay Blue Grand Reserve, especially for you. To, right? Okay, so this review is dedicated to you. Um, <laughs> and if anyone wants to thank Robert in the comments, please do. Right, Chimay. Let's tell you a little bit about them. Obviously, they're a Trappist brewery. They're in um, Belgium at Scormont Abbey. And they first went there in the summer of 1850. Um, same ethics as any Trappist brewery. Is they, 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 you know, they, they brew beer, they make cheese, and it's self-sustainability at the end of the day. And what it costs them to make the beer, they don't make no profit on it. It's basically, it's to fund the upkeep and running of the brewery. So basically, they brew the beer, they make the cheese, um, the money they get from it pays for the, their food, their lighting, their heating, um, and basically, they break even at the end of the day. What a great way to live, eh? What a great way to live, but there we go. So just a little bit about um, Chimay Brewery. So what they've actually done is their famous Chimay Blue, which is um, 9%. Okay, what they've done is they've aged it in various casks. Every year, apparently, they bring out a different one. This one is the 2018, which is the, what they call the, um, the Whiskey Edition, um, which is... It's actually three times it's fermented, believe it or not, and it's fermented in three different barrels. It's first, apparently it's, it's, it's fermented in a French oak barrel, then it's moved from a French oak barrel into an American oak barrel, and then it's finished off in a, um, a whiskey barrel. That's what I can gather. And it spends... 34% of its time in a French oak, 41% of its time in an American oak, and 25% of its time in the whiskey oak. So yeah, it's quite a, quite a complex here, you know. Um, <laughs> um, they obviously got too much time on their hands, haven't they? <laughs> to, be, to be able to go through that process. But hey, without further ado, let's crack this open. We've got one of these lovely cork tops. Um, I actually got this bottle from Beer on Web and it cost me eight euros 99, which I don't think is too shabby for a two year old barrel aged beer. You know, if you was to buy this in the UK, you probably kiss goodbye to, to, to 20 quid easily, easily kiss goodbye to 20 quid. So it pays to go to source and say beer on web, eight euros, 95. Um, I didn't realize it was the 2018 bottle they were sending me. I actually thought it was the new one, the the, um, the 2020 bottle, um, because you can't actually see on the on the photo what year it is. And I thought it was gonna be the Armagnac edition, but hey ho, I've, 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 I've got two bottles of it. And uh, yeah, it was the, 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 the two year old whiskey edition that dropped through the door. So let's get it into a glass.
There we go, look at that. How good does that look? Well, first impressions, it's, it's dark brown mahogany, dark mahogany brown. You can actually, if you look up in the light, you'll see a readiness come through. So you won't see it if you look side on, but you can actually through here, look in, I can see a readiness there. Um, it's got a lovely one finger white tight foam head. Now let's get the aromas. Oh, you can smell the wood. You definitely can smell the wood. Pears, brown sugar, oh God. Fruits there, dried fruits. <sighs> Pears, brown sugar, figs, dried fruits. It just smells fantastic. The woody undertone as well. Have you ever done any work in a place where they, um, like a wood mill or something like that, where they cut the wood up? And the smell is fantastic where, they, where the saw blade is running and it cuts the wood. And it slightly, sometimes it makes the wood smoke a little bit while it cuts it. It's very, very similar sort of smell. That beautiful smell. So look, without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. So cheers to Robert, all the best. What a beautiful beer. The first thing that hits you is the smokiness from the tanning of the casks. then what cuts through it is figs, dark fruits, brown sugar, candied pears, is there some caramel notes there? Or is it candied fruits with, with the, the dark fruits and the figs of lashings of brown sugar on them and have been put in a frying pan? I don't know, it's unreal. It's, 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 it's an unreal beer. I cannot 
pick out any hints or any referrals to whiskey. The complexity of the beer and the flavours is actually over masked any sort of whiskey notes that you think you get from this beer. Now, I actually served this beer up at 10 degrees, which is absolutely perfect. Sweet, the carbonation is subtle. It just bounces around the inside of your mouth. Is this the best Chimay I've ever had? Yes. Is this now a range which I'm going to keep buying? Yes. Um, this is like. When you get the trap and they do the oak aged series, which is the same size bottles, the 37.5 milliliter bottles. Once you've had one, you're addicted. You're addicted to this range of the barrel aged beers. And it's the same with the Chimay now. I want to try and now source every other edition. You know, they first started doing this. Well, let's go back to my notes, all right? Um, they first started doing this in 2015. Um, this is a 2018 one. So whether I can find myself 2017, 16 or 15, I don't know. I know I can pick up some more of this 2018, which I will be doing. Don't worry about that. I'll be ordering some more of this um, because it's fantastic. Um, I want some for Christmas. Now I need to be able to find the 2019 and definitely the 2020 i do fancy this 2020 um edition which is armagnac especially after having the um duval rum edition i really do fancy you know if you look at rum editions that the 2017 was a rum edition oh, I bet I can't find any anywhere, but I'm going to have a little search because this is unreal. Look, Beer on Web have this in stock as we speak. They've got about nine bottles left. Um, eight, nine, eight euros, 95. It's probably one of the, the best bargains of beer you can buy. Brian, if I was you, I'd jump in quick and get a bottle from Beer on Web. Because I know you appreciate these sort of beers. Whether you've got a bottle, I don't know. You might have one aging. You might have got one in 2018 and you're still sitting on it. Um, probably still sitting in your um, in your little store of aging beers. But if you haven't got one, Brian, I'd jump on beer on web straight away and get one. This is awesome. Robert Fall. Thank you so, so much for, for suggesting this beer. Thank you so, so much. Because it definitely hasn't disappointed me at all. Oh. You look at the, you know, the flavor profile of this beer is just, it is just, a work of art, it is just immense. Brown sugar, woodiness, and then you got the fruits. Work of art. Work of art. If this was a painting, 
it'd be hanging in a museum. It'll be up there alongside the Picassos and the Rembrandts of this world. It's that good. The best Chimay beer I've ever had. And that's a bold statement. And that's a statement I'm going to stick by. The Grand Reserve. Fermente on Barracks. Which means it ferments in barrels. The best Chimay you're going to buy. The best Chimay you're ever going to have. Wow, it's so smooth, it's so delicate. I hold that in the mouth for like 10 seconds before I, I swallow it. The flavours are just immense. The smoothness of this beer is immense. Do you know what? If I was to ever face a firing squad, and I know there's a few people out there that would like to um, be in that firing squad and put me up against the wall, right? If I were ever to face a firing squad and they turn around and said, your last request, I'd go, get me a bottle of this, please. And let me enjoy it. And when I've enjoyed it, shoot. So without further ado, get yourself a bottle of this. There's nine bottles left on beer on web, right? So get yourself a bottle of this. You will not be disappointed. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, right? Get, just get a bottle, 8.95 euros, just get a bottle. Because I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna go and, cl I'm gonna go and click some bottles tonight. So uh, there'll, be, there'll be less than nine after I've finished. Um, so get yourself a bottle. Try it. Let me know what you think of this beer. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.